So, hello everyone, uh, welcome to the fifth Empower Best Practice series. My name is Julian and I'm going to talk about uh, two features today. The first one is called Master Fields and the second one is called Dynamic Logos. Um, so the first one, Master Fields, provides you almost unlimited opportunity in order to classify or mark slides or even entire presentations. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use that feature, but also, more important of course, how to set it up. So let's see how we can use that feature. Um, within the Empower ribbon, you can see a button called um, Presentation Settings. So if I click on that button, you can see it opens this dialog box right here. And below the uh, where you can choose between the language, uh, which by the way, affects the spell checking of your presentation, you can see one, two, three, four different types of master fields. And I'm, I give you one example. So um, we here uh, at Made in Office, we added um, this watermark field. It's a free text field. And if I type in draft now, um, you can see if I click OK, that we have a master field in the background. And if I now add any kind of layout, I will see that it remains in the background. So that's the way how we set it up. Um, so I'm going to delete that. and. Um, I will now show you how to set it up, but before, sorry, but before, um, give me, let me give you an overview of the different types of master fields, uh, which is really important. So I just used a text master field. So it's a free text, so you can type in any kind of text, and of course you can style the text box in any way. I'm going to explain later how to do that. Um, then we also have the option to add a drop-down menu basically. So this is called options master field. And then we also have checkboxes, uh, which can be used in various ways. Uh, and this is called fixed master fields. So if you would activate this one, we would have a slide number. Or if you would activate the anonymous mode, here's a brief description, then uh, all the logos in our presentation will be hidden. Um, this brings me to the next explanation. So. Uh, we will go ahead and define the name of our new master field and the name is always on top of the field itself. We will add also a description which is then, if you want to use a description, it's not mandatory, uh, is right below um, the name itself. So it gives the user guidance uh, and, and an explanation on uh, what this uh, field in particular is. So let's set up a new field. We, I'm going to go ahead and set up a confidentiality field. Um, how do we do that? Um, so the first thing we need to do is, of course, we have to download our current master uh, from Empower and, and then we have to switch into the master view. So we go into the master view and now you have to make a decision. Do you want to have this field being available on every single slide or only on um, some slides? maybe on this slide and only on this slide. Um, because that's important. If you want to have it on every single slide, um, my recommendation is to um, set up this master field on this so-called mother layout, because then it's automatically integrated in every single slide. If you only want to have a master field on that slide, then simply choose this layout here and add the field to this respective layout. If you want to have multiple slides, but not every single slide, then uh, it's the same logic, just select all the slides you want to have and place uh, master fields on those layouts. In our example, we want to have it in every single layout. And um, I'm adding this confidentiality master field. So I'm, you can choose basically between text fields or rectangles. Um, doesn't matter what you want to have. Um, I decide to go with a text field and I'm adding this one to the button here. I give it a brief description. It's not mandatory, but it will help me to identify it. I call it uh, confidentiality. Reality. Um, and now I'm, I'm simply making, I, I don't do any magic. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just formatting it, right? So um, the font size should be a little bit smaller. So I take the next uh, available font size. Uh, I go for 10. Um, and then also I would like to have it centered and in the middle of the box itself. And maybe I want to have it slightly here. 
And if you want, of course, you can go ahead and say, well, I need to modify it in any way. Uh, I want to have um, this option here um, available as well. So that was step number one, right? We designed our text field. Then we go to our master field view. And then we go to the button called master fields. And now you simply click on define master fields. And then it opens up this window I showed you before. And now we decide to go with a um, drop down menu. So you can see it depends on what I'm doing. Um, it provides me additional options. So the name for this field is confidentiality, right? Confidentiality. The description is simply please choose a confidentiality level. And now I can decide, depending if you're using a couple of languages, for which language this feature should be available. So remember, you can select a language on the button, which affects the spell checking. Um, but this also then changes the options you have. So maybe you have a French and an English, um, uh, French or English in your company, and some features are only available for French, then you would all only select French. Um, in this case, we want to um, have this field available for every uh, language. Um, or better, um, maybe we also want to have a German version of it, so maybe it's better to distinguish, actually. Um, so we go ahead and select uh, English uh, USA. So, and now the question is, so which options should be available? And you simply click on this Add button here, and now I add um, the label strictly confidential, confidential, strictly uh, confidential. And then I add another one for internal use only. And then I'm fine. If you want to change the order, you can use those arrows here. Um, so if you have a couple of options. And then the last thing you need to decide is, is that a mandatory field, yes or no? If it should be a mandatory field, you can turn it on, and then every user has to make a decision. Um, if not, it's just a free uh, choice for every user. Um, I'm now clicking OK. And um, if I now want to have a German version, I just go ahead and copy and paste it. I'm not going to do it. Uh, and so I have a second one like this and I position it at the same place and the same position uh, and I'm opening it up and then I change the language to German or French, whatever. And of course, I'm going uh, to change it into a French version of strictly confidential and also in a uh, French version of uh, for internal use only. So, but that's it. And the next step I need to do is I don't want to see it, right? So I'm go ahead and hide the master fields. Now I'm closing the master view, and now you have to upload it into Empower so that's available for everyone, but let's see if it's already available. So if I go back and say, uh, please open presentation settings, now we have this fifth additional and new uh, option, confidentiality, description, and if I now say for internal use only, I click OK, and now it's visible right here in the way I define it. I uh, formatted it so and as you can see because I decided to use the mother layout it's available for every single um, for every single slide so this was master fields um, now I'm switching to the second um, feature called dynamic logos um, so I'm going ahead and open my other presentation it's right here so what is dynamic logo um, dynamic logos can help you in, in several ways. So maybe you have your company logo and you would like to add a partner logo uh, and you have a couple of partner logos. Or you have an example like here, um, an example I'm going to show you. You have basically a couple of masters, but you want to reduce it to only a single master because um, you have, let's say, five brands. And for every in the past, for every single brand, you would have uh, five different masters, but your master is really consistent. So actually the only thing that differs is the logo itself. With a dynamic logo feature, you can reduce the amount of masters to a single master and just use the master or the dynamic logo um, feature. Um, 
so I prepared something for you. So if I click on presentation settings, you can see here on the button that I have uh, our logo available. It's called Empower Slides. And if I add this one, um, it will simply add, uh, add it on top of my presentation on the first slide right here and in a bigger version also here. So now the question is, how to, do I set this up? But before, let me quickly get rid of the two logos. So the first thing you need to do is you need your help of your IT. Um, because the first thing we need to do is we have to define um, a folder where you can store all your logos. And we need to connect this folder to the presentation settings button. Um, so it's a special folder. Um, how do we do that? Um, we can go into the library. And then as you can see right here, there's a folder called logos. And now we need the ID of this folder. And that's something you still can do. Um, so you can click on it, right click on it, and say copy link to clipboard. Once I've done that, um, you have to yeah, open a slide or wherever you want to paste it into. Um, but we paste it into as a text. And then what's essential here is that um, you're using this string here and forward this string as a text to your IT. And your IT then goes ahead, opens the Empower database on the server, goes into the table settings plane, and then on the right-hand side, as you can see, there's a row called logo folder. Then your IT has to paste it into this field here. And once that's done, then this folder in the library is connected to our feature presentation settings. All right, so once that's done, then you can do the rest on your own. Um, so I showed you the Empower Slides logo. Now I would like to add the Made in Office logo. So we want to use a single master and exchange it or we want to have the option to choose different logos, uh, Empower Slide logo and the Made in Office logo. Um, and the first thing you can do is uh, you can insert a, um, a picture. So you go to your pictures and here we have a small version of the Made in Office logo and a big one. Uh, and first we take care of the small version. Um, and now you can basically position it wherever you want, right? So you can position it right here. Uh, you can make it as big as you want. So it's completely up to you where it is and how big it is. So once you define the position and the size, you simply save it into the Empower library. So you click on Save As. Now, please see or please be aware that this is a white logo, so we need a gray background. So that's why I'm activating this feature here on the right button. Um, and we give it a name. And so the name is Made in Office for the logo. And now we have a hashtag. And I'm talking about this hashtag in a little while. Um, and we say maybe Mio uh, Small. OK, so this hashtag is um, very essential in order to um, connect this uh, logo, which we are about to save to the logo or to the um, layout where we want to position it. Um, so I click on OK. I'm storing it so into the, into the library. And I can basically delete it right now. And now the next thing I have to do is I go into the master view again. And now, like the, likewise uh, for, the, for the master fields, you have to decide where do you want to insert the logo later on. If you want to insert on every single slide, again, uh, then you would use the master, the mother layout. But if you want to only uh, yeah, add it to a, a specific layout, like in our case here, you just select the specific layout. Um, the next thing is you insert, again, a rectangle or any kind of shape. Um, you position it wherever you want. It's not really, doesn't really matter. We could position it right here or there. It doesn't matter. Um, but just for orientation, we put it right here. And then we go to our master view and click on logo placeholder. And then we click on define logo placeholder right here. All right. Now it gives me the feedback. The placeholder have been uh, set successfully. Um, and now the next thing is that we need to define the name. So I go to Layout Toolbar um, and I open the Selection pane. And once that's done, um, here we can see um, the name now of this field here. So Mio Logo Placeholder uh, hashtag. And now next to the hashtag, um, we also add 
um, what we added to the hashtag or after the hashtag um, in the logo itself. So Mio small. All right, once that's done, we're fine. Um, we go back to master field or the master view again. And now the only thing we need to do is to hide the logo placeholder, like for the master field. And we close the master view. So now it should work if I go on presentation settings. Now I can see the Made in Office logo. I open it and it's positioned it where I defined it, right? Um, but what didn't happen is here is no logo available, the bigger version. That's why we didn't set it up so far. So let's do that one in a quicker way as well. So I'm inserting it again, a bigger version of it. Um, so I'm taking this logo. I position it maybe here. Um, that's fine. I save it back into our logo folder. Um, so now it's essentially that oh, it's uh, me yeah, mandatory that we have the same name because what we want to avoid is that we have a couple of logos available um, because we only want to have a single choice. So we either want to decide to take uh, the Empower Slide logo or the Made in Office logo. So the first part of the hashtag um, string basically is to group the logos all together. So it's, we call it Made in Office again, so that's grouped with this version here, but now we change this one to big. Okay. So we store it. And we can basically delete that one here. We go back into the master view. Um, we add again a shape, position it here, and then we go to the master view, say define logo placeholder. All right, that worked. Go into the uh, selection pane, um, and then we give it the name Empower. Uh, sorry, it was uh, Mio Big. Okay. Okay, so the next thing then is also hide logo placeholder, go back. And now if we open the presentation settings again, we have this here available, we click on OK. And now not only the small logo will be inserted, but also the big one. And the last thing I want to tell you is that you can also set a default. So if you want to choose a logo as a default so they don't have to make this decision again and again. Simply set one logo as a default one and if you open up PowerPoint the next time it will be um, automatically available. All right, so that was it. Um, I hope um, I could you give you a, an overview of those two features. If you have any questions, if there's something I, we need to explain in more detail, please send us an email to empower at madeinoffice.com. If you have any questions, send us an email to empower at madeinoffice.com. Thank you and have a nice day.